Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here again, and we're going to do a third episode on drop caps. Um, I showed you how the default method is for uh, Scribus. I showed you the workaround that they have on their uh, help website. Uh, but I don't like that because it ends up with a bunch of space down here, and it, it, I haven't really figured out a, a, an efficient way to get rid of that. You can goof around with it and try to choose a different font or mess with the line spacing, but I don't want to have to do that. I want it just to do a bona fide drop cap. So uh, one thing I've uh, considered doing is just entering text into a separate text box and then causing that to be drop cap because that will be done independent of the rest of the text. So let's insert, because if you remember, uh, you know, our problem is I've got this quote mark here that uh, will not, uh, that will drop text, but uh, only that. So I want the quotation mark and the first letter of the first word uh, to be drop capped. So I'm going to insert this text box and press F2, shape, use a bound box because I want the text to go around it, flow around it like so. Um, get rid of that. Now, it's going to be what I want drop cap is the quote, quotation mark and the first letter, which here is a W, so I'm going to cut that because I don't need it there now. I'm going to enter it in this, <clears throat> in this box here. Paste. And there they are. Okay. And then all I have to do is um, take it back. I just wanted the quotation mark. What am I doing? All right, I just wanted the quotation mark, so I'm going to now go to F2. I copy the quotation because it's a curly quote, and uh, I'm not sure how to get a curly quote out of the Scribus' own uh, text entering system. Uh, let's see, so I'm going to go to text, I'm going to a paragraph style, and drop caps. Now, what happened? Well, the box is too small for the uh, quotation marks, and so we just make it a little bigger, and there it is. Okay. Then, what am I going to do? I'm going to enter another box because I want the W. So I'm just going to draw the box here. I'll have to move it around a little bit, don't worry about that. Uh, we're going to then again go to text, I'm sorry, shape, uh, a bounding box. And there's the box. So uh, I'm going to enter my W. And I want it over here. Yeah, so um, now what I'm going to move. You see the stray I and the J here, that's because there's just a little room and this bounding box thing is for the text to flow around it. So I move it and they pop back where they're supposed to go. If I move it too far, by the way, you'll see the quote mark disappear because um, it's effectively flowing around it and now it is gone because it's a separate text box. So I slide it over so that's... All right, and then I'm going to go to text, drop cap. There's the W. So now I have both the W and the quote mark as a drop cap. Now I reckon what I could also do, let's do this, is um, let's just delete that. Let's enter the W here. Whoops, go back here. So all I did was drop cap separately the quotation mark. And if I go uh, F2 uh, text uh, drop caps, 
there's my W. So I have also I have the W properly drop capped, and now I have the quotation mark. Let's get rid of that for now. All right. So now I select this. I want to make this a small. The box surrounding it. I can't change the size of this here. I could. I can go change the size of it in a minute, which I might do. I'll make this box as small as I can make it. It's a quotation, so I'm going to want it up a little bit. It's also one of the great flexibilities of Scribus, which is you can put this about anywhere you want it. You know, try to do that with, even over here. Try to do that with uh, Word Perfect or uh, with Word and see what happens. Okay. Now, that's the way it is. If you want to look at it, you go to File. If you want to look to see how it will look if when you go to print it, print preview, uh, get, just click ignore errors because we're just going to look at it. And with any luck, if we live long enough, up will come the text box and it shows you what it looks like. Okay, well, the quotation marks are a little radical in my view. The W is perfect, and the, but, the, uh, but the quotation marks are a little too big, so one thing we can do is we can actually go create another style edit styles, paragraph style, new paragraph style drop caps, make it only two and um, that's that, slide this over and character done All right, get out of there, and F2, text, style, and I have new style. I, I didn't give it a name, so let's just, and it made it, it made it a little smaller, you see. So that's a little prettier in my view. Slide this as small as we can make it might want to move it down a little or whatever all right, so you can fool with this all you want and then we'll go look at it file print preview ignore these errors whatever they are and here it is now I think it looks a lot better and as far as having the beginning of a sentence with a quote it's as good as it gets all you can do is, other than that is avoid quotes and you get that so that's that. Uh, Mike's work around for uh, uh, Scribus. Uh